please sit in any comfortable meditative posture with your hands on your knees in Jnana or Chin Mudra, head, neck, shoulders, back in a straight line, eyes and mouth gently closed. Become aware of the whole body from the top of your head to your toes. Awareness of your head, neck, shoulders, arms, chest, upper back, abdomen, lower back, hips, legs, the whole body. Bring your awareness to your breath. Normal, spontaneous breathing coupled with awareness. I am breathing in and I am breathing out. And I am aware I am breathing in. I am aware I am breathing out. Let this be the form of your awareness for some time. Shift your awareness to your Brumadhyaya. At the Brumadhyaya, visualize the form of either your Guru or your Ishtadevata or a brightly burning candle flame. And maintaining your awareness on this, we shall chant the mantra Om three times all together. Inhale deeply. Oh. Oh. Sahana Bhavato Sahana Bhunakto Sahavir Yankaravahai Tejas Vinavadita Masto Ma Vidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Hari Om Sat Sat. Gently rub your palms against each other. Place them on the closed eyes. Experience the warmth radiating from your palms to your eyes, to your brain, to the whole body. And then gently move the palms away. Open your eyes. Hari Om Tat Sat. Namo Narayan. Jai Pa. So a very, very warm welcome to all the participants of this introduction course, introduction session on practicing Pratyahar. Or Maje ki baat ye hai ki vishay hai practicing Pratyahar, Pratyahar ka abhyas, Pratyahar ki jankari nahi hai. Knowing pratyahar nahi hai. Thinking about pratyahar nahi hai. Vichar karne ki baat nahi hai. Analyzing pratyahar nahi hai. Uska vishleshan nahi hai. Practicing pratyahar hai. Ye do cheez bhoat vahat mahat to pura hai. Practicing. Abhyas karne ki jarurat hai. Param Guru Swami Shivanan Ji Maharaj anek bar kehte the an ounce of practice is worth more than a ton of theory. Aap vishleshan karte jaiye ga, padte jaiye ga, samajte jaiye ga. Ton bhar aap jitna karenge, usse achha ek ratti bhar abhyas kar lijiye ga, usse jada aapko fayda ho jaye ga. Ye bhoat mahatpapurna cheej hai. We have to understand that this is something which we need to practice in our life. 
and why do we need to practice it what is the benefit that is all what we will be discussing today because next eight sessions we will be working on this principle and this is the foundation जैसे बिल्डिंग जब खड़ी करनी होती है तब हम हमें नीचे फाउंडेशन पक्का करना पड़ता है फाउंडेशन पक्का करेंगे तब निश्चित रूप से परिवर्तन होता है और आगे बढ़ सकते हैं दैट्स वाई दिस इज द फाउंडेशन एंड दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट प्रैक्टिसिंग प्रत्याहार वी विल ऑफकोर्स बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट प्रत्याहार बट the discussion is meant so that we can improve the quality of practice but before we go ahead i would like to ask three questions to all of you and i would like you to type the answer in right away in the chat box hum jo prashna karenge teen prashna karenge aur teeno ka uttar aapko चैट बॉक्स में डाल देना है आप लोगों को बहुत सोचने की जरूरत नहीं है बहुत ज्यादा विश्लेषण करने की जरूरत नहीं है झट से सवाल पट से उत्तर आना है सो प्लीज गेट रेडी एंड यू नो ओपन अप द चैट विंडो एटसेट्रा एंड गेट रेडी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज इट दैट यू वांट मोस्ट इन योर लाइफ जीवन में क्या चीज है जो आप सबसे ज्यादा चाहते हैं कि आपको प्राप्त हो जल्दी से जवाब डाल दीजिएगा ओके okay. 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 very nice you got very nice very nice okay very good now the second question is what is it how is it that you will achieve this you have said you want something most in life you get only that one thing and don't get anything else jeevan mein wo ek cheez mil jati hai baki kuch nahi mile tab bhi chalega wo ek cheez kya hai aap logo ne alag alag aapke hisab se jawab de diye ab jeevan mein us cheez ko aap kaise prapt karenge उसको डाल उसका जवाब जो आप सोचते हैं उसको डालिए तो ओके 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 वेरी नाइस गुड ओके वेरी नाइस मेहनत करके बढ़िया अंडरस्टैंडिंग माई सेल्फ वेरी गुड वेरी गुड नाउ टेल मी वॉट इज इट विच इज द biggest obstacle for you to achieve the thing you want aapko aapki jo cheez hai usko prapt karne mein sabse bada roda kya hai okay हा हा ओके 
वेरी नाइस विचारों की आ अधिक होना अनस्टेबल माइंड बिजीनेस ओके वेरी गुड वेरी गुड बीइंग अ स्लेव टू द माइंड सो ब्यूटीफुली पुट वेरी नाइस ब्यूटीफुल दीज आर आदतें खान पान की हो या बाकी कोई भी हो आदतें वेरी नाइस गुड सो दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स एंड द ब्यूटी इज देखिए कि आप लोगों को जवाब मालूम है आपको यह भी मालूम है कि आपको जीवन में सबसे अनमोल चीज क्या है आनंद खुशी मन की शांति ये रहेगा सब चीज मिल जाता है और ये नहीं रहेगा कुछ भी नहीं मिलता है ये आप जानते हैं और आप कैसे उसको प्राप्त करेंगे उसके बारे में भी आप लोगों ने बतला दिया यू हैव ऑलरेडी मेंशन अबाउट इट यू हैव गुड आइडिया हाउ टू गो अबाउट डूइंग इट आल्सो एंड व्हाट इज द बिगेस्ट ऑब्स्टेकल अगेन द माइंड नाउ इफ आई समराइज ऑल व्हाट यू हैव सेड डू यू एग्री विथ मी इफ आई से दैट happiness anandam is what is the most prized possession usi mein sab aa jata hai peace of mind bhi aa jata hai khushi bhi aa jati hai sab cheez anandam mein aa jata hai wo english word itna acha nahi janta hai anandam and how do i achieve that by recollecting remembering that i am already that mera nihit jo swaroop hai wo to wahi hai sat chit anand hamara jo mool roop bola jata hai what is my inherent form my inherent form is sat chit and anandam i am full of joy happiness bliss look at children they might be poor children they might be rich children there might be in whatever situations they are always happy and when they lose this connection with divinity then they grow up and become adults till the time that doesn't happen they remain divine so according to me the most important thing how to achieve that is to regain the knowledge that i already am that all i have to do is that i have broken that connection i have to make that connection again bas wo ho jayega sab cheez aa jata hai aur usi mein aap sab logo ne jo jawab diye hain wo bhi aa jate hain aur tisra to sab logo ne lagbhag ek hi cheez batla diya hai what is the biggest obstacle the biggest obstacle in achieving this is our mind we are slave to the mind we have bad habits we have laziness we have so many things somebody had very nicely said that i do not have time but if you really look at it do you have time to eat do you have time to sleep do you have time to brood over all those things which pull you down and if you have that time then you know that you are setting the priorities differently and if you feel that you do not have time that means you have put yourself into too many things and you are unable to do justice to any one of them so now in both the situations what can be done in the first situation and in the second situation 
मान लीजिएगा कि आप बोलते हैं ओ मेरे पास समय ही नहीं है और मोबाइल में रील्स देखते बैठ रहे हैं आई एम जस्ट गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू पॉइंट टू एनी बडी इन पर्टिकुलर बट जस्ट गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल आई से ओ आई नीडेड टू डू द डिशेस बट यू सी आई एम वेरी बिजी यू नो ओके वॉट आर यू बिजी विथ आई एम लुकिंग एट द रील्स आई एम टॉकिंग टू समबडी ऑन फोन आई एम डूइंग थिंग्स विच माई माइंड टेल्स मी गिव मी हैपीनेस बट देर आर थिंग्स विच आई एम मिसिंग आउट वी हैव टू ट्राई एंड ऑब्जर्व इज दिस समथिंग वॉट इज है सेकेंड थिंग वॉट कैन हैपन इज दैट आई एम डूइंग मल्टीपल थिंग्स ऑल ऑफ विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड इसेंशियल एंड आई एम पुशिंग माई सेल्फ बियॉन्ड माई कैपेसिटी which means that i am performing below my optimum capacity gaadi mein bus upar parvat pe chad rahi hai aur us parvat par chadhne wali bus mein 50 ke badle 100 log baith jate hain to bus ko load zyada hota hai the bus is overloaded the bus can carry 50 people up the hill and it is now having 100 people so its ability to pull people up goes down so instead of going at say 50 kilometers an hour the bus will start going at 10 20 kilometers an hour and when there is a gra- uh, steep gradient it will go it will go slow it might have lot of difficulty so then the either the driver says some of you please get down or you can replace the motor of that bus with a more powerful engine do you agree with me yes yes these are the two options which we have now in our condition if we are doing what generally we know as we are being a super woman or a super man because that is how the society is there are so many requirements and we have all these requirements which we have to fulfill it is not that i cannot fulfill so in that situation it becomes essential for us to mm. improve the quality of the motor that motor is within and to improve the quality of the motor what is it that stops what is it that actually is the block the block is the mind everything what happens within and without passes through the mind and the mind is one thing which can change the entire structure there was a story there was a story of one very poor woman this is the time of shivaji maharaj he was on one fort and the fort in those days used to be on the top of the hills so there was this lady who was who used to come up into the fort in the day sell milk and then go back and she had a very small baby maybe 8 months 9 months 1 year one day it so happened that she came up she was not able to sell milk like she usually does and usually by 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock she would go back because by 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock as it starts getting dusk the uh fort gates would close this day she was not able to do it and she had to go round and round and finally she managed to sell everything because she sells the milk she makes money then she can 
feed herself, her family and her children. Now, that day she got delayed. And she was running to try and make it so that she goes out before the gates close. But she was late. Maybe 10-15 minutes late, I don't know. And she started begging the doorkeeper that, look, I have a very young girl over there. Uh, please let me go. But the doorkeeper said, Do it. look, madam, I understand what you're saying. Mai, mai to jaan raha hu, aap kya bol rahe hai, lekin humare haath bandhe hai. Maharaj ka adesh hai. Aur ye suraksha ki baat hai. This is a matter of security. I really can't do anything. You stay here the night. Stay in somebody's place. He made some arrangement. You stay and go tomorrow morning. But this lady, she was very attached to her child. Naturally so. She was a mother. So, very restless. She tried to find this way, that way. And she felt that the daughter is calling. And she suddenly found a way out. And she you know, went down the hill and reached the daughter. Next day morning, she came back up again. When she came back up, the guard asked, why? How did you go down? So then she was uh, arrested and placed, uh, presented before uh, Maharaj. And then he said, how did you go? She said that, look, my daughter was calling and I, I just, so I just went down the, I found there was a small path and I just went down that path. So he said, there is no path from the uh, um, fort. It is secure. Show it to me. Because obviously she had gone. She was blocked and she had gone. So there is some discrepancy. So he asked, Maharaj asked her to show where she went. And she showed that below the shrubs she had kept her pots. And then she jumped over a couple of things and went. And when she showed, it was a steep cliff. Almost impossible to go. And everybody said, oh, impossible. Nobody, we can't even go down this way. We who live like this, climbing up the mountains and down the mountains, and we can't do this. And you said you did this? Oh, not possible. Show how to do it. Maharaj said that, okay, go down. And she started going. And sure enough, as she came to the cliff, she was afraid because she saw it was a deep 500, 700 foot deep cliff and valley and there was no support anywhere. So Maharaj I can't get up. So Maharaj asked how did you go yesterday? How did you go yesterday? How did you go वो डर गई सोची और बोली मुझे मालूम नहीं महाराज लेकिन कल मेरी बेटी बुला रही थी मुझे कुछ सूझा नहीं हम ऐसे ही चले गए प्लीज नोट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मेरी बेटी मुझे बुला रही थी दिस मदर हर होल माइंड वाज ओ माय डॉटर इज कॉलिंग एंड आई हैव टू रीच माय डॉटर देयर इज नो वे दैट आई कांट गो and something which was impossible, it was a steep cliff and she just went down. And Maharaj then named that cliff after her. Many of you who are from Maharashtra would know, it is known as Hirkanitsa Buruz. But this tells us that the mind is very powerful. Something which was impossible. And it was truly impossible. It is not that, uh, you know, people made this up. But it was truly impossible. But because of the overpowering desire to go towards her baby, she managed to do it. And the next day, that overpowering desire was not there. And obstacles came in. 
so now coming back to the point which we had discussed that i have so many things to do that i don't have time why because either my ability is low so i am doing work at a lower efficiency or my engine is sub optimal both ways what is it that can make the change it is the quality of mind which can make the change and mind you when we say quality of mind it is not just pumping ourselves up yes i can do it yes i can do it that can help us in the short term but when we need to do something like go down the cliff do impossible feats then you need quality of the mind to be higher very strong resilient creative mind and the whole effort in trying to do this is that we can achieve what we want and what we want ultimately leads us to happiness and most of you have very rightly mentioned that by use of various yogic practices one can achieve that state of happiness you have used various uh, terms for it bhakti you have used meditation you have used uh, sadhana various terms but ultimately the point is that we need to use yoga to improve the quality of the mind and only when we improve the quality of the mind can we achieve more now when we achieve more then the intangible in life starts coming to us mere paas to sab cheez hai rupya hai paisa hai naam hai daulat hai sab cheez hai lekin main khush nahi hu khushi bahar se nahi aati hai khushi andar se aati hai aur ek din aise hi chalte chalte nikal gaye nadi ke kinare baithe bahut sundar nayan ramya drushya dekh liya और एकदम मन में आनंद उल्लास हो गया पैसे से नहीं आता है नाम शोहरत से नहीं आता है इट इज अ स्टेट ऑफ माइंड एंड दैट माइंड इज नॉट इन आवर कंट्रोल वी आर द स्लेव टू द माइंड दैट इज द क्रक्स दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग द माइंड डिक्टेट्स टू अस where as we need to dictate to the mind but then how do we change the whole thing that is where yogic practices come in and in these yogic practices pratyahar forms the most important link because pratyahar is that practice which links to the mental activities pratyahar is not a practice which we are doing externally pratyahar is a practice where we actually start doing things internally bahar mein sab cheez kar sakte hain lekin andar mein jo cheez ho raha hai usko kaise badalna hai how do we tackle that mind somebody had said laziness i know i have to do this but i am unable to now how are you able to manage this because you are the person who is lazy and you are the person who has to push yourself so you are fighting with yourself how is it possible will it not create a conflict in the mind will it not lead to split personality it can so how is it that we can achieve this without creating splinters within ourselves that is where practice of pratyahar comes in i have so many desires i need to moderate them again what is pratyahar many of you who have practiced yoga might know jin logon ko yoga ke vishay mein jankari hai 
वो लोग जानते होंगे प्रत्याहार क्या है प्रत्याहार क्या है कोई बतला सकेगा वट इज योअर व्यू यू कैन पुट इट इन टू द चैट बॉक्स वंस अगेन वॉट डू यू थिंक इज प्रत्याहार टेक्स्ट बुक डेफिनेशन देने की जरूरत नहीं है जो आपको लगता है वो ऑब्जर्विंग योर थॉट्स ओके डेडिकेटेड ट्रेनिंग ऑफ द माइंड ओके एनीबडी एल्स डिसिप्लिनिंग द माइंड विथड्रॉवल ऑफ द माइंड इंद्रियों का संयम डिटैच आउटर थिंग्स डिटैचमेंट फ्रॉम आउटर थिंग्स ओके वेरी गुड ठीक है सो नाउ लेट एस ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड द वर्ड प्रत्याहार प्रत्याहार कम्स फ्रॉम टू वर्ड्स इन संस्कृत फर्स्ट इज यस फर्स्ट वर्ड इज आहार एंड द सेकेंड वर्ड इज प्रति आहार सो नाउ लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इन अ वेरी सिंपल मैनर आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गेट इट इन टू द टेक्निकल आस्पेक्ट आहार डज दिस आहार मीन द फूड विच वी ईट it does not mean that food but then what food because the word is there aahar to kya cheez ka aahar hai aahar hai man ka man indriyon ke dwara bahar ke cheezon ko grahan karta hai you consume stuff through the senses indriyon dwara so through the senses i receive something and i consume it my mind is being stimulated by things external i look at a beautiful watch i look at a beautiful movie i look at a dirty uh, rag of cloth i smell something nice some very nice touch sensation comes it gets too hot it gets too cold all these sensations are being received indriyon dwara hum inko grahan karte hain bhojan karte samay bhi hum log bolte hain na lijiye grahan kijiye please receive the food partake the food so now the indriyas the sense organs they receive all this information and feed it to the mind so it is the mind which is feeding on the external sense objects through the sense organs man indriyon dwara vishayon se vishayon ko grahan karta hai jab ye paristhiti hoti hai tab man ko vishayakar vritti bolte hain mind is extroverted and when the mind is extroverted it starts getting distracted i am looking at the mobile i am looking oh it's time for me to go and uh, maybe do my uh, duty do i have to do my japa i have to talk to somebody my mind is running continuously and i am looking at five things and trying to do multitasking given the quality of mind as we do multitasking the ability of the mind keeps coming down computer mein ab yahan to kuch kuch computer ke vyagyanik bhi hain bhai dekh lijiyega sahi batla raha hai nahi computer ka jo cpu hota hai the operate the you know the basis of the computer which can respond if you put many windows you put multiple games and various things then it 
drags the efficiency of the computer down and the computer slows down. Everybody has experienced this. The same thing happens when the mind is excessively extroverted. And when the mind is excessively extroverted, then there are so many processes which are going on, which don't need to go on. And then we have to do a system reset. And when we do the system reset, all those processes which are not needed, they are stopped. And when those processes are stopped, suddenly the energy of this computer comes up because suppose it had X amount of ability and that X amount of ability was given for 100 different things. Now this X amount of ability is now being given for 20 things. Automatically the ability increases. How to do that? That is where Pratyahar comes in. Ahar, we have understood. What is the word before that? Prati. Prati to hum sab log jante hain. Anukul paristhiti hoti hai aur pratikul paristhiti hoti hai. To prati yane kya bolte hain? Opposite. Jo ho raha hai uske viparit. To abhi to ahar kaha ho raha hai? Bahar ho raha hai. Indriyon ke madhyam se bahar ja raha hai. Uske viparit karna hai. मन की विषयाकार प्रवृत्तियों को अंदर में खींच करके ब्रह्माकार करना है वो प्रत्याहार कहलाता है सम ऑफ यू हैव सेड विथड्रॉवल ऑफ द माइंड बट यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी केयरफुल इफ यू डू नॉट नो हाउ टू विथड्रॉ द माइंड देन यू गो इन टू डार्कनेस अंधम तम प्रविशंती ये विद्या उपासते दोज हु प्रैक्टिस दे गो इन टू डार्कनेस से ईशावासी उपनिषद बिकॉज वेन यू विथ ड्रॉ द माइंड यू डोंट नो वेर टू कनेक्ट इट टू सो इट गोज इन टू डार्कनेस एंड डार्कनेस एंड डार्कनेस एंड डेट गोज इन टू डिप्रेशन एंड हेलुसिनेशन एंड वॉट नॉट बट यू नीड टू नो वेर टू कनेक्ट इट टू वेन यू कनेक्ट इट टू द इनर सोर्स देन लाइट ब्लूम्स then the ability goes up and then the same mind gets rejuvenated and things which you felt were not possible to be done you are able to do where there was a block or oh, impossible to do it suddenly you get a breakthrough you become a genius in whichever field we are the original aim of pratyahar is so that we withdraw the mind and direct it inwards so that we are able to ultimately transcend the mind go into dharana dhyan and samadhi but none of us at this point of time or perhaps even in this entire lifetime will be reaching there where will we be reaching we will be reaching that place where the ability of the mind is improved the quality of the mind is improved and when the quality of the mind is improved then the response of the mind improves that is what practicing pratyahar is all about practicing pratyahar foundation course is not about going in and achieving higher states of mind where you see all wonderful images no 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 the aim of practicing pratyahar is that you befriend the mind understand the mind's functioning and in a very efficient manner utilize the mind for doing what you want to do the best allowing us to do that analysis that is very essential if we do not know how the mind functions and we try to force the mind in something we will get poor results but the moment you know how the mind functions and you 
align yourself to that you are able to achieve everything that hirkani she was not a great yogi hirkani koi yogi to thi nahi lekin paristhiti ne aisi kar diya ki man ki kshamata ekdam se ekagra man ho gaya meri beti mujhe bula rahi hai mujhe jana hai baki koi cheez usko dikh nahi raha tha उसको एक ही चीज पुकार रहा था मेरी बेटी मुझे बुला रही है मुझे मेरी बेटी के पास जाना है एंड एवरीथिंग एल्स वेंट अवे एंड समथिंग विच नो बडी कुड ऑर्डिनरीली डू गो डाउन अ स्टीप क्लिफ विदाउट एनी सपोर्ट न रस्सी थी न कोई साथ था कोई कुछ नहीं अकेली चली गई तुलसीदास जी के बारे में भी तो यही बोलते हैं ना उनको उनकी पत्नी की इतनी याद आ रही थी पत्नी की इतनी याद आ रही थी कि नदी में बाढ़ आ गया था तो उनको वहां से एक मृतदेह जा रहा था उनको लगा कि लकड़ी है लकड़ी को पकड़ करके नदी पार कर गए ऊपर चढ़ने के लिए गए तो पत्नी फर्स्ट फ्लोर में थी तो उनको देख उनको लगा कि देखो पेड़ के पास एक रस्सी लटकी है कथा तो मालूम है ना आप लोगों को रस्सी से पकड़ करके कूद करके अंदर पहुंच गए पत्नी तो चिल्ला उठी और बोले कैसे आए बोले रस्सी से आया हूं वो बोलती है कहा रस्सी है बाहर देखो बाहर रस्सी नहीं था सांप था धक्का लग गया वो तो ठीक है लेकिन नदी पार कैसे आए वो लकड़ी थी लकड़ी को पकड़ करके आ गए और लकड़ी नहीं थी मृतदेह था पानी में तैर रहा था उनका मन पत्नी की तरफ इतना था कि कुछ नहीं दिखा उनको बाहर कर गया नॉर्मली नहीं आ सकता है कोई आप बोलिए सांप को पकड़ करके आप चढ़ जाइएगा ऊपर कोई नहीं जा सकेगा क्यों क्योंकि मन एकाग्र हो गया था और फिर पत्नी बोली अरे मेरे लिए इस नश्वर देह के लिए इतना करते इससे आधा भी अगर भगवान के लिए मन लगाते आप पहुंच गए बस वो पॉइंट में तो तुलसीदास जी तुलसीदास जी बन गए सब छोड़ करके प्रभु के शरण में चले गए बट द पॉइंट इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ द माइंड गोज हंड्रेड फोर एंड दैट इज वॉट वी वॉन्ट टू डू बाय मैनेजिंग द माइंड बेटर by befriending the mind by harnessing the abilities of the mind and thereby becoming a better version of what we are this is not an easy thing but it is possible for everyone no matter who we are the principles are very simple and by the grace of the masters the lineage which we are in we have been taught things in a very systematic scientific manner but in a very practical way not theoretical very practical way systematic step by step shanai hi shanai hi and then we can reach that level so if we want more in life if we want to achieve that which i am not able to because i have lack of time because my, i am too lazy because i am too stupid to comprehend i need to do programming but my mind is dull okay even that the mind can change to be able to do that that is the and you have to understand this pratyahar practices are very important many times all these quirks of the mind result into illnesses ailments and today you can see puri duniya mein manasik rog badh gaye hain sharirik rog to hai jitne hai theek hai manasik rog psychological problems and psychosomatic problems have increased and again the reason is 
we do not know how to manage the mind. If we know how to manage the mind, we will be able to treat them also. So this is the basis of practicing Pratyahar. The course is intended to help us begin this journey. It is not that by doing this, we have achieved. No. We make a beginning and then if we are at it, then we are able to make that change in life. So this is a journey which we will undertake together. And this journey we will do twice a week in the evenings, Mondays and Wednesdays, India time, 7.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Eghanta, where we will have slight understanding of what the mind is and what are the processes and then the practices. We will be focusing more on the practices and we will be fo focusing more on the basics because once the basics are clear, then you will see everything else starts following very easily. Now, to be able to do this, because I know that we are living in a world which is not uh, easy. It puts lots of pressures on us. So therefore, we have chosen a platform wherein all these will be recorded and kept. If you are unable to attend for any purpose, you can go back to that platform. You will have to log in off, obviously, and uh, look at the recording. If in between there is something which you are not sure about and you would like to refer, again, you can go back and refer because we will be doing twice a week and you have to practice during the other things. Yeah. So that is how we will process and progress. And I will also be giving you some assignments. Simple assignments, not too hard. Darne ki baat nahi hai. Chota chota hi denge. Which will help you go deeper and deeper in this practice. Knowing this practice. Many times there are emotional problems. And we say, oh impossible, this is there. Mere jeevan mein itna dukh hai. Ye hai, wo hai. Nobody is saying no to the overwhelming situations. But there is a way that we can change the quality of the mind. And when we change the quality of the mind, then automatically the responses change. That is what is intended. And that's why small assignments so that you can keep on practicing and observing for yourself. Because yoga is a method of self-discovery. Yoga was not discovered in a laboratory the right laboratory this lab body and the mind is the laboratory the events around us are the events which are the experiments and the results are within us and if our ancestors were able to do it agar hamare purvaj ye kar sakte the to hum bhi kar sakte hain raw material to ek hi hai so we have to discover things for ourselves. Keval kitabi gyan se baat nahi banti hai. Kitabi gyan to hai ki man nasika agra pe lagana hai. Aankho ko nasika ke paas le aana hai. Aur man ko yahi tikaye rakhna hai. Ya bhru madhya me le aana hai. Bring your awareness to bhru madhya. Visualize the form of either your guru or your Ishtadevata, or a brightly burning candle flame. So easy to tell. But to do is not so easy. But how to do? You have to start working on it. And then you will see, one day you get the clue how to go about doing it. That is why emphasis will be on self-effort beyond the class timings. Do ghante ka to session rahega. Lekin uske आगे आप लोगों को मेहनत करना है, दिमाग लगाना है और ब्रेकथ्रू करना है। That is the whole idea of this course to be able to learn 
how to make that breakthrough in our lives. We have problems and we don't know how to go beyond them. But by using the tool of Pratyahar, we can know the mind better. And by knowing the mind better, we know how to harness the power of the mind. Gurudev Swami Satyanandji used to say, the mind is like an elephant. Very powerful. And it can do almost anything for you. But if you go in confrontation with the mind, you fight with your mind, it will just lift you and throw you off. Hathi ke saamne gaye hain. Jada agar hoshiyari karte hain, to bas ek sund mein utha karke patak denge. Or nahi, to pair dal dega, chikna chur ho jayenge. Man ke saath jhagda karenge, psychological problem huna shuru ho jayega. Man ke saath jhagda nahi. Man ke saath dosti karna hai, lekin man ke saath dosti kaise karna hai? Pratyahar ke maat. So this is the entire philosophy with which we will be practicing this and discovering our way ahead. We have some time. If you have any doubts either regarding the classes, etc., you can ask. Man, Chitta and Ahankar. Difference between Man, Chitta and Ahankar. Um, let us say that we have uh, I'll come to that uh, Punya, I'll come to that huh, in a moment. See, let us say that we have a trans uh, we have a recep reception center and a response center depending on where it is placed the name changes the idea is it receives and processes manas chitta or ahankar ye tino usi ke alag alag swarup hai they are different functions of the same entity in tattva bodh when we have studied earlier, we have said, seen Adi Guru Shankaracharya has defined what is Manas? What is Chitta? Chitta? What is Ahankar? What is Buddhi? They are different functioning of the same internal element. When you receive something and get agitated that is the manas aspect you receive an information and that information gives you oh maybe i can do this and i can do that and i can do that all those things start coming up the mind is res responding to it that is the manas component now the same situation there is another aspect which tells that oh five years ago a similar situation had happened and after this situation i responded in this manner and after that something else had happened oh my previous experience tells me be aware it is not so simple there is a hidden uh you know pitfall gadha hai samhal karke to uska Usi cheej ka jawab hum ek alag roop se dete hain. Wo ahankar hota hai. That is my self. And that is how I project things. In, if in the past I have had a bad experience with lizards. When I was a small baby, I grow scared of lizards. Just a very simple example. Now, when I am big and hefty, still I see a lizard. I recall unconsciously that aspect in my mind when I was a small baby vulnerable I was not able to take care of myself and that big ugly huge looking lizard she fell on me and I was scared 
that is an experience which i had when i was a small baby and that experience has gone in my mind and that experience is color all my responses that is ahankar and then there is another aspect which ponders over oh that is a lizard how big is it it is this big how big am i oh i am so big is there some way i can respond yes i can respond i am feeling afraid but let me try so i am doing chintan i am thinking i am analyzing i am observing and responding that is chittam chintan ar kartru chittam so that these are three different ways by which the same internal basic matter receives and responds so that was about manas buddhi chitta ahankar so next question was uh, do we have morning class no we don't have a morning class uh, on this but if you are interested every day in the morning from 6:15 to 7 o'clock we do mantra chanting and at the end of mantra chanting we do certain meditative practices which are part of what we are doing so yes you can certainly come in the morning and that is open for all so aap us samay subah mein zarur aa sakte hain subah mein us par vishleshan which hum log nahi karenge lekin abhyas आप हर दिन कर सकते हैं वो तो अपने हिसाब से चलते जाता है उसमें चलेंगे लेकिन आप उसके साथ को कर सकेंगे स्वामी जी उसमें एनरोल कैसे करेंगे आ, उसके लिए आप एक काम कीजिएगा मोस्ट ऑफ अस दे आर ऑलरेडी इन अ ग्रुप विच वी हैव अ व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप and in that okay. what group we do so what you can do is that uh, those of you who are not in the group please uh, you know uh, put your na- uh, name phone number and email in the chat box i will copy that and uh, then our team they will uh, add your name to it and so you you are once you are in the group we will send you the link and then you can join in yeah thank you so much sir swami ji hari om hari om so swami ji bus ka engine चेंज करना पड़ेगा या यात्री उतारना ठीक रहेगा हाँ ये तो देखिए आज की तारीख में इंजन कमजोर है इंजन का जो मैकेनिक है वो दो मोड़ के पार है तो यात्री को बोलते हैं भाई थोड़ा सा उतर जाओ पुराने जमाने में जब साइकिल रिक्शा होता था ना तो हट्टा कट्टा साइकिल वाला भी होगा लेकिन जब चढ़ान है वो बोलता था बाबू दो मिनट के लिए उतर जाइए ना तो कभी कभी उतारना पड़ता है और कभी कभी अपने पास बगल में ही उसका एक और आदमी रहता है जो पीछे से धक्का देना शुरू कर देता है या रेलवे में एक और इंजन लगा देते हैं जब घाट आता है तो दो इंजन लगा देते हैं तो परिस्थिति जैसे है अगर हमारे पास में परिस्थिति ऐसी है कि मेंटल सिचुएशन आई एम नॉट एबल टू हैंडल द स्ट्रेस विच इज कमिंग इन then in that case at this point of time yatri ko utar dijiyega stress ka level jo hai kam kar lijiyega kshamata kam kar lijiyega lekin sath sath engine ko upgrade karne ka abhyas shuru kar dijiyega to engine ko upgrade karna shuru ho jayega 8 din 10 din 15 din 1 mahina mein fir bol sakte hain yatri gan aap bus mein chad jaiyega ab bus tezi se aage bhagegi so that is how we have to respond ha ji sami ji dhanyawad yeah okay so